up, Clarence. I know it hurts your brain, but it is essential that you concentrate. What are you going to do about this? Uh, scarify in the autumn and spread liberally a top-quality mark. I speak of Gertrude. Oh, isn't that that wretched girl forever rearranging my books? She must be kept occupied to get her away from Bingham. Is Bingham a particularly dreary place? Rupert Bingham is the man she wishes to marry, the priest. Oh, jolly good. No, I mean, dreadful. Yes, awful person. No, no, out of the question. Connie, I've got no idea who these people are. Gertrude is your niece. Another one? Good heavens. Bingham is a pauper. Well, what, what do you expect me to do? I expect you to dance, Gertrude. Oh. oh. Yes, the girl needs taking out of herself. Uh, Sir Gregory is giving a summer ball next Saturday. Mm. You shall dance with Gertrude just once and then pass her on to an eligible gentleman. Uh, and close your mouth now, Clarence. Mm. Young girls love to dance. I'm not a young girl, Connie. Oh, perpetually thinking of yourself. Now, Herr Schnellhund is calling shortly, your dancing master. <laughs> I don't suppose you have them in Portugal, that this is a castle. Uh, it was built by Norman the Conqueror, broke with Mary Elizabeth, Queen Virgin. All a bit pointless, this, isn't it? You don't understand a word I'm saying. Ha! You usually hear that tree. Ooh. Ah, yes, that's the spirit. <clears throat> Beach, please. Isn't there enough sadness in the world without you clearing your throat at people? Her ladyship wishes to see you, Miss Gertrude. Well, I do not wish to see my aunt. It is because of her that I suffer the terrible torments of Prometheus. Very well, Miss. Governor! <laughs> How the hell are you? Uh, I'm riven with anxiety, Frederick. Uh, can we conclude this quickly? How, how much do you need? Dear old ghoul, I haven't come to sponge. I, I wanted you to meet Miss Paquita. Manganara. Oh. From Portugal. She doesn't speak a word of English. How refreshing. I met her at the Pink Pussy Club. She was dancing in a little dress entirely composed of bananas. Oh, good heavens. Exactly what I said. Uh, Miss Paquita. Uh... Manganara. Well, oh, actually, Governor, it's a bit of a moot point. Technically, you're fondling the paw of the honourable Mrs. Paquita Threepwood. Oh. Uh, I seem to have married her. Uh, inadvertently. Yes. And I think at some stage you should probably release her hand. What? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd better pole on down with the child bride and explain it to the family. Frederick, the one thing you must absolutely not do is explain Miss Hang Banana to anyone, particularly your aunt. <clears throat> Peach. Telephone, my lord. For Mr. Threepwood. Oh. It's Mr. <clears throat> Beefy for you, sir. Yes. There's Beefy. What? I managed to break a bath, I'm going to bother the locals. Ha, 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 how'd you manage to break a bath? <laughs> No, no, uh, uh, on my way. A friend of mine just landed up with a goat and feathers. He's in a jam. Shall be a tick. Keep my Portuguese wife amused, will you? Um, friend. Portuguese friend. Huh. Lord, help us that I saw it. Landlord, I trust that covers the damage to the bath. Thank you. Come on, oh. General. Is there any down here? Come All on. I did was sit in the thing. I didn't chuck it about. <laughs> now, is that entirely <laughs> proper, Beefy? Calling on the Almighty to help you twist some bloke's arm off? Well, oh, look at you. You need a nurse. It's not a nurse I need. It's Gertrude. Your aunt Constance has forbidden our marriage. Oh, my aunt is famous for derailing the locomotive of young love. But I love her, Freddy. I love her. Gertrude, not your aunt. Huh. So, Gertrude's banged up till she gets over you, because you won't do, and you're here in order to be close to her. I mean, that's the full extent of the plan, is it? Yes. Um... Ah. Have you ever met Aunt Connie? No. And how about the governor? No. 
You see, already we're on top of the siege. Sorry. What you need to do, our wound, is bring the governor gaiety. The attentive, courteous. He shall gather you unto his bosom, and my aunt shall not dare stand in his way. Allow me to prepare the ground, and nothing can go wrong. Ah, what's gone wrong? Uh, don't appear to have any breaks. Not to worry. Uh, ha have a spare set. <laughs> Foxglove. Ah. Uh, gloves for, um, foxes. Oh, me tia che of nori e mestas quesas and so giardene gotta be so nej ever a meant. Very small ones. Governor! Oh, thank God for that. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, hello, Angel. Did you miss me savagely? Now, Governor, listen, I must bend your ear about Beefus. What is Beefus? Uh, a friend of mine. Miserable as hell, because he's denied the girl he loves and all that sort of rot. Can you come and stay for a bit? Uh, very well, Frederick. This fellow's name, Beefy, what do you say? Uh, Popjoy. Popjoy? Absolutely. Beefy Popjoy. Uh, he'll, he'll be company for Gertrude. Perk her up a bit. Beefy Popjoy. Dancing. Portuguese person. <laughs> Skirts of ruddy bananas. I've been making improvements to the distribution of your books. Now, look here, my dear. If you have hidden my whiffle, I shall not be answerable. Care of the Pig is where you dropped it. In your study. Ah. Oh, do you know why I do this? Rearrange things. It is called displacement activity. Is it? I do it to stop myself lacerating my flesh and feeding my unbroken body to your wretched pig. Oh. Your tie is crooked, Uncle Clarence. I, I like it crooked. Mm. It must be glorious to be as old as you. Such a short step to the silent rapture of the grave. What do you mean, a short step, my dear? My own dear father lived to be nearly 90. Oh, don't, don't you make it sound so desperate and dreadful. Her ladyship invites you, my lord, to meet a German person. Deck. This is Herr Schnellhund. You know how I feel about fellows with tufty little beards, Connie. They, they give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, don't be absurd. I can't trust them. It, it could be anybody. All yours, Herr Schnellhund. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Dancing master, eh? I am so Lord Emsworth. Before this, I worked in a slaughterhouse. And so I understand precisely how the portions of the body connect. And so I demonstrate. Ha <laughs> ha! No, 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 no. Ein, zwei, drei, zwei, zwei, drei, drei, zwei, drei. Lee. Ha! Uh, mark me, Beefy. The wheeze is afoot. It is established that your name is Popjoy. Popjoy? Uh, you're a very rich man. Oh. Uh, but your money's all tied up abroad. Uh, Brazil. You know, where the nuts come from. Popjoy. Now, last dash. I'm supposed to be showing my wife round the old dump. Friend. My friend. Popjoy. Oh. There's a Mr. Popjoy here, Your Lordship. Popjoy. Are you expecting any sort of popjoy, Gertrude? I expect nothing but an eternity of grinding, grisly torment. Oh, it must be for me then. All right, wheel him in, Beach. Oh, my dear, I beg you, be a little less funereal for Mr. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you must be Gertrude Armstrong. I must. Uh, my name is Popjoy, you see? Oh, yes. Uh, Lord Emser. Uh, no, no, sir, please, oh. don't get up. Let me come to you. No! <laughs> How do you do? He's called Fang, after one of my aunts. Uh, family joke. Uh, 
Remember? Bitch! What do I say when I finally run into Aunt Constance? I'm here with a girl who shimmies round the pussy in a girdle of soft fruit. My aunt will be nonplussed. Uh, if she finds out I've married the girl, and that's what I've done, her non will be plussed off the scale. Things here are not as they seem. What do I say? Do you intend to conduct your entire married life in secret? That's a plan. Thank you, Beach. Uh, this proves it with the great Walter Conk. He's the second Earl. And hilariously, this is the picture that's actually worth something. Oh, good God. I mean, hello, Aunt. Allow me to present Paquita Manganara. She is my friend. Paquita is Gavalesh. Jiragilavash, Manganara, Princesa. Delightful. And that is how the Blue Perfect is formed in the Aramaic of St. Luke. Oh, how incredibly amusing! <laughs> I don't know that because I'm a priest, because I'm not. I like your guest. Oh, Poppers is a scream when he gets going on the old blue perfect. No, not Mr. Popjoy. Popjoy's an idiot. I mean the princess. Uh, oh, her. Oh, good. Now, that's useful. I didn't know she was a princess. Oh, God. Pay her more attention, Freddy. The Manganaras, I believe, are a very old family. Oh, she seems rather young. Good heavens. Oh, Lord Ember, I have... <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it, Uncle Clarence? Just a silly decanter. It was terribly old. <laughs> Georgian. Do go on, <laughs> Mr. Popjoy. Oh, I, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Melish, Gilliges, the Jesu Shows Filmil, Elias. Mr. Popjoy, your business concerns are in Brazil, I gather. Where the nuts come from. And what language do you speak over there for business? Portuguese. Yeah. Well, how convenient. We can now converse with Miss Manganara. Oh, yes. So let us establish what it is she requires from Beach. <laughs> what is occurring now? Mr. Popjoy is about to speak Portuguese. Oh, good Lord. Well, as long as he doesn't stink up the air with German like that dismal creature Schweinhund. Schneidhund! <laughs> Please. Senor Lager, uh, moi copinos al fresco bladeronica la bamba bamba di tinkle botsky vavavum beach. And then did it fail when she has to get back to the brother fist, Kish? Did it ever? At home she has 20 chefs, none could cook a chop. Like this. Very kind. See, she's got everything she needs. Fred. The princesa is so agreeable. <laughs> Connie, uh, Mr. Popjoy seems to exert a, a pleasing fascination over. Uh, uh, do you think he might um, care to accompany her to the ball? You cannot escape dancing by means of Popjoy. He has all the natural grace of a hippopotamus. The Princesa, however, has the auteur of the continental aristocracy. Extraordinary she could sense to be a friend of Freddy's. As long as he doesn't make a lunge at her. He... Beach, you're hovering. I do apologise, Your Ladyship. It's merely that we seem to be missing a number of spoons. Shake down the tufty German, that's my advice. Be surprised what falls out of his pocket. <coughs> Sir, are you indisposed? <laughs> <laughs> Brazil must be so dull without you, Mr. Popjoy. Psst. Psst! Where's Beefy? Isn't he a bunny rabbit? I wish your father and Aunt Connie thought he was a bunny rabbit. If he's doing the right thing, he's just got to do more of it. I, I, I must be seen talking to you like this. My wife wouldn't like it. 
My friend! Friend! Eins, zwei, drei, eins, äh, äh. When I take my sugar to tea, all the boys are jealous of me. Because I never take them where they... What are you doing? Oh, Lord Ensworth. I'm concerned that you're foaming at the mouth. I'm cleaning my teeth. Well, allow me to be of assistance with that. Oh. <laughs> Evening, my boy. As you were. Peaceful night. Yeah. Mm. I have scissors, Freddy. Because I never take them where the gang goes when I take my sugar to tea. Do carry on. Off to consult really? the Empress. My uncle is deranged. Hasten to his rescue! First thing is, I, I have to dance in ruddy German. Eins, zwei, drei, 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 eins, zwei, drei. Lord Emsworth, allow me. My dear fellow, I entreat you. Oh, 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 oh. Keep your distance, sir. No, no, sir. Oh, my ankle. Sorry, oh, no, I am you. so sorry, sir. Was that your eye? I rather wanted Beefy to translate this for me, but... Well, I, I was wondering, as we are, as it were, um, married, sh sh should I perhaps be... slipping in for a bit? Ah. You, you, you know. Ah. Wonders for the Empress. Um. Should the preparation come into contact with the skin, uh, douse at once with plenty of water. All oh, right. Uh, Your eyes are like golden planets glimpsed in the canopy of heaven. I think that's Uncle Clarence. Good grief! One, Rupert! One! He's dwelling! Lord Andrew! I, I, I hear you, sir! I have a bearing on you! Must 
most important thing is not to panic. The great mistake of the drowning man is to panic. Uh, you, no, no, no. Yes, I'm with you now, sir. No, 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 no. All is well. Uh, All is well. Uh, Try not to struggle, Lorenzo. Uh, you banged your head on my instrument. No, no. And now I'm going to put my arm around your chest. If you resist me, sir, I must incapacitate you. Forgive me, sir, but your life is at risk, and I have that training. There we go. You're safe now, sir. <laughs> Uh, uh, unhand me, sir. Uh. Ahem. Frederick? Governor? Uh. Yes. Tricky to explain. Unusual evening. Uh, Aunt Connie was advising me to marry my wife, and... Then it all got rather out of hand. As my evening was also eventful. <laughs> Your friend, Popjoy, is one of the most appalling young men I've ever met. Uh, his name's not Popjoy, it's Bingham. Well, the improvement is negligible. But he's the bird whose marriage to Gertrude you've forbidden. And he's tried really hard. All he had to do was slip him a vicarage with a bit of an income. Why should he wish to be slipped a vicarage? Because he's a parson, obviously. Mr. Beefers is a priest. Hmm. Oh, God help us. <clears throat> ah, Beach, a review of the Empress. Straight away, my lord. If not sooner. <clears throat> so, will you give Beefy a job? I will not. I see. Very well. Will you condescend instead to help your only son in his hour of need? You have an elder brother. You quibble. Come on, Governor, do something. When Aunt C finds out I've been hitched all along, I never had her knees up to which she could wear a hat. She'll soar over my cranium and feast on my brains. Mm, a meagre luncheon it will be. Good morning to you, sir. Oh. Oh, joy. Oh. Would you please translate? Uh, Princessa Pahita, as you are aware, my nephew is a very charming, literate, and intensely intelligent young man. Say it. Princessa, la guno con pompedadi, vella distra, uh, e moi moi brainio runi. Hmm. He is of noble birth. A nobly nato tato. He is eligible. A eh, legolabolo. Legolabolo? Much interessant. Really, how very charming. Very charming. Huh? Very charming. Back nine cut comes. It is a rum business altogether, Governor. For your only son, apart from the other one, spurned, a blameless vicar, ruined. And, and did you think the council hair beard house bless him? No, the poor twerp standing in the hall with nothing to do. You could have a shave. And alas, for Aunt Constance, she's lost her equilibrium, her crystal, and her... Frederick! Get Beach to bring Mr. Pingjoy. Okay. Uh, beef hat. Uh, Bingham? Him as well. Bring them all. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Hello! Oh, hi, good fellow. I, I don't think I can survive much more of your attention. I am given to believe that you seek a country living with a tolerable salary. Is that correct? Good. Well, I do happen to have a church needs a parson in Hampshire. Uh, that is quite far away, Hampshire, isn't it? Sufficiently, my lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, is, is, does that interest you, Mr. Pingpox? Lord Emsworth, I... No, no, my dear fellow, please don't approach me. No, no I beg of you. Darling, steady. Mr. Bingham salutes the approach of Miss Gertrude. Oh, right you are. Oh, call the police! Ah, 
times. I've been such a fool. You were right. Was I? What about? About that frightened little German with a preposterous beard. What, that one? Yes, that one. What have you been up to, you odious little fraud? I have been smoking a cigarette while I attend Lord Emsworth. You liar! It, but it is so. Uh, and that nasty little beard, is that so? I think not! <laughs> Where is the second Earl? Is he in those ridiculous little trousers? Shall we look? This is all most unusual. That's your name, Mrs. Not Schnellhund. No one in real life has got Schnellhund. <gasps> You're Bingham! Um, no. I'm Bingham. As it were. I am going. Too much. I am going. That's all sorted, then. Uh, I put it to Herr Smelly, hun, that he wouldn't want it going about that he was the kind of man who allows hysterical women to go yanking his beard, and he, very sportingly, settled for 50 quid. I said you'd send a cheque. Uh, now, here's the really funny thing about all this, Aunt Connie. See, you've been banging on at me to marry the Princesa. Look, here she is. And guess what? I already have. Ha! How's that for a Chinaman on a springy wicket? Measure to bear the goodness. The better finish it, still the best. Bingham! Oh, Lord. Ask the princess if she can confirm this extraordinary suggestion. Slinky Biffy do, crank crinkum crankum a gumbo. Very good, you get well at the best good of it. Oh! Sorry! Oh, my bleeding foot, you clumsy great lump! Oh! oh. She speaks English. Rather well. Crying out loud. You're all mad. My sweet, you speak of family. <sighs> We're not family, you soft chin twit. You got plastered in the club and turned up in my flat with a feather in your... Yes, I remember that. And you was all kissy-kissy and spouting blooming poetry at me and I thought, well, I'd have a little laugh, tell you we was itched. Well, heart blooming ha. How'd you like your continental la da now, Mrs Muck? Save your breath, Bonzo. I'm off. Oh, nuts. From Brazil, man. Ow! Sorry. In English, you see, it might have gone something like this. One, two, three. Hmm? One, two, three. Two, two, three. One, two, three. Ouch! Whoa!